it's only as awkward as you make it a lot of times. And one of the things that we do, we know we're going to be out and about. And so we know that we have a very beautiful understanding in our religion that prayer is actually light. Prayer is a source of light. And the places where we pray, where we make that sejda, it leaves a mark. You know, that will testify on our behalf on the day of judgment that worship and remembrance of God was established in that mark. And so it's nice to know, like, on the way coming here, we passed by the, the shopping center where the Hacienda Theater is. We'd been to that theater. But like the sister said, we schedule it around prayer times. And we literally, like, I feel good knowing that we left the prayer mark in that shopping center on several different spots in that parking lot. I'm like, hey, we left the prayer mark there. And so I, I tell my, my daughters, when I, you know, I have a lot of slogans in the house <laughs> just to help make principles easy to memorize. But that's just one of them. You know, it's only as awkward as you make it. And so be creatively righteous. That's one of the things I say. We have to be creatively righteous. We can establish these prayers. They always tell me stories of, you know, leaving a, you know, having to pray in the Nordstrom, Nordstrom's dressing room, you know, all kinds. Like I said, I mean, how many parking lots, you know, are you going to end up praying in? Balconies, all these different places you end up praying. We can do it. We can establish it, and it's only as hard as we make it. Sometimes there's just a lot of fears we put in our own hearts. So if I go right here, it's going to be awkward. I'm not, I'm not saying you got to get up in the middle of the movie theater and go down. Usually there's a platform down in front. You go down the platform and pray right there. Yeah, and give the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and go pray, but make it work. There's times Miriam is right here as a witness. We Sometimes the timing has fallen to prayer time. We even set, okay, this is where we're going to pray. And we pray right there. We get up, right, and even take turns, pray on a relay so we don't lose our seats and stuff. Have we done that? Right? We've gone in corners in theaters and pray right inside the theater. And so far, we're still alive. Nobody said anything. Nobody kicked us out of the theater. So, again, you have to look at it in the positive. Don't always take the responsibilities as a negative. Oh, we got to pray. No, we're leaving marks of light across the earth. We're making sejda marks of light on the earth that Allah was worse to you. In a theater? You remembered Allah in a theater? You may have been that only person. You know, I always think about that. We go to certain places. We may be the only people in this mall, in this wherever, who remember God. That's why the dua that you say when going into the marketplace is so huge. Right? When you go to a mall, you should, there's a specific dua. I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I want you to look it up yourself. That you should make, don't we say that dua we go to the store? Go to Safeway, Target, we come in the door, make the dua. Because it's huge, because this is a place where people aren't thinking about God. They're just thinking about what they want to get for themselves. Okay? And that's something I appreciate as a convert, is that Allah has helped us to remember him. But sometimes you just feel so tongue-tied. Like, what am I supposed to say to God? No one's supposed to think of God. What would I say? So he just gives us all these things to say. What to say when you get up? What to say when you go to the restroom? What to say when you put on your clothes? What to say before you eat? What to say when you leave the house? What to say when you get in your mode of transportation? What to say when you go to the store? What to say when you enter into a, a, a house of worship? What to say when you leave? What to say when you leave the bathroom? Right? What to say when you greet someone? All these different duas is like, we can definitely get out there because on. Okay? And again, it's, it's, we should take an empowering and a, and a positive attitude. This is awesome. I can talk to God with his own words. Right? His own words. Of course he's going to hear that and love that. So a lot of times it's only as awkward as we make it. So we have to, to find creative solutions to some of our challenges, but be creatively 